Right, it now wants me to calculate the amount of moles of sodium hydrogen carbonate in 200 centimetres cubed of solution X. If we go back to the beginning of the question, you'll notice that I needed 18 centimetres cubed to neutralise the uh, sodium hydroxide and 29.5 to neutralise both the sodium hydroxide and sodium hydrogen carbonate. So the difference between those two is the volume needed to neutralise the sodium hydrogen carbonate. So let's go back and do that one. Okay, so 29.5 minus 18 is equal to 11.5 centimetres cubed of sulfuric acid. Okay, so let's now do moles. I've got the volume, so now I'm going to work out my moles of sulfuric acid. Same way as having the concentration times the volume over a thousand, and that gives me 0 0.00115. So that was in. Um, okay, so that was the moles of sulfuric acid. I now need to work out the moles of sodium hydrogen carbonate. If you look at the equation, which I will now attempt to do, hopefully you can see for every one sulfuric acid, I need two sodium hydrogen carbonates. So I need to times that number there by 2. So it's 0 0.00115 times 2, which comes to 0 0.0023. And that was in 25 centimetres cubed. They want the amount of moles in 200. So moles of sodium in now 200 is going to equal 0 0.0023 divided by 25 times by 200 and that comes to 0 0.0184 moles. Okay, and now for the easier bit, now calculating the mass of sodium hydrogen carbonate in 200 centimetres cubed. Well, the molar mass of that sodium hydrogen carbonate is 84. If you add it up, mass we know is equal to moles times molar mass, which is going to be 0 0.0184 times by 84, which gives me 1.0. 5, 5 grams. Notice they want it to three significant figures. Right time to move on to question five. So we've got some calcium chemistry um, now. So we've got uh, reactions of calcium, calcium carbonate, both come into calcium oxide and then calcium oxide being transformed into calcium hydroxide. So reactions one and two um, both form calcium oxide, write the equation for reaction one. So reaction one, I'm starting off with calcium. And I'm making calcium oxide. So adding oxygen, oxygen of course is O2 to give me calcium oxide. What's the form of calcium oxide gonna be? Well, calcium we've said is in group two, so that's calcium two plus. Oxygen's in group six, so O2 minus. So obviously one to one, give me calcium oxide. To get that to balance, I need two of those and two of those. What type of reaction is reaction two? If we go back and have a look at reaction two, I've got calcium carbonate becoming calcium oxide, and therefore um, we know that to be thermal decomposition.
calcium hydroxide is both a base and an alkali. Refer to any relevant ions in your answer. What is meant by the terms base and by the term alkali? So let's go up. Well, what is meant by a term base? Well, a base we know readily accepts H plus ions. So a base readily accepts H plus ions. What about an alkali? Well, an alkali readily releases releases OH minus ions in aqueous solution. So when you dissolve an alkali up, it releases OH minus ions. There you go. So a student prepares calcium hydroxide by adding calcium to water. What would they see? Um, first of all, the, they would see bismuth. And secondly, the calcium would dissolve. Write an equation. So you've got calcium plus water gives me calcium hydroxide oops, plus hydrogen gas. To balance that, you need two waters. Why is that the formula of calcium hydroxide? Well, calcium is Ca2 plus, hydroxide is OH minus, so you need two of those for every calcium that you have. So therefore, the... Oh, that's rubbish. Okay, so what would a student observe and write an equation for a reaction where the student has prepared calcium hydroxide by adding calcium to water? Well, first of all, the calcium would dissolve or disappear. And secondly, they would see some fizzing because hydrogen gas is produced. If we write an equation for that, you've got calcium plus water giving me calcium hydroxide plus hydrogen and together to balance you need 2H2O. A student now prepares a solution of calcium nitrate from calcium carbonate. What reagent would the student need to use and write an equation? Well, they're going to need to use nitric acid now because it's a nitrate. So nitric acid would be required. Write an equation for this. Calcium carbonate CaCO3 plus HNO3 for nitric acid is going to give me calcium nitrate. Uh, plus water, and because it's a carbonate, plus CO2 as well. Uh, to balance that, you've got two nitrates there, so you need two nitric acids, like so. Right, final question. This is about the attraction between particles. State and explain why the attraction between nuclei and the outermost electrons and gaseous atoms varies across period three. Well, first of all, if I'm going across period three, the attraction increases. So we say attraction increases. Now, why will the attraction increase? It's because the outer electrons are added to the same shell. Therefore, shielding remains the same.
However, um, the number of protons in, in the nucleus increases. So number of protons increases as you go across the period. Therefore, attraction will increase. 